Well, hello, my YouTube family. Yeah, I know. Already you didn't see me. Starting off on a bad foot. But you, I had a, seriously a legitimate reason, people. I had a legitimate reason, and I was pissed the hell off. Okay? I had a legitimate reason. The lip gloss that I was wearing, I have it right here. I had shown you this lip gloss that I was all excited that I bought was a dud. This was what I was wearing yesterday, people. This was the Bobbi Brown lip gloss in nude. It's a clear. It, it, it might as well have been. There was nothing. When I tell you nothing on my lips, the whole day I was at work, I kept checking, putting on, because it fades away, and nothing. I said, I'm, there is no point zero zilch point to make any kind of lips of the day because there is no lips of the day. So this right here, I might as well combine it with this that I'm wearing now because I am not fond of this particular shade. Um, this is an NYX matte lipstick. Let's just segue into today's lips of the day. Uh, this is NYX matte lipstick and this is in the shade maison which means house in french i uh thought this was going to be a better looking brownie on my lip brownie look on my lip i don't know i don't know what happened I know it didn't go bad or anything. This is this is it. I mean, without a liner, it just makes me look completely dead. So I had to line my lips with um, Mac Chestnut. Oh, excuse me. This is Mac Night Moth. I thought I picked Chestnut, but I just grabbed and went. So. This is Night Moth, which works just as well. And uh, yeah, this lipstick has to be lined or else it'll just make me look completely. It needs some it needs some definition, um, at least on my skin tone. It definitely needs a liner in order to define the look, the shade itself on my lips. I don't know about anybody else. I can't speak for anybody else on how this lipstick looks on them. But on me, I I, I don't know. I this, this this disappointed me. It disappointed me and I'm not happy. It was one of my the new, you know, one of the new stuff that's coming out of my Sephora. I think this was an Ulta, if I'm not mistaken. Sephora doesn't sell NYX. So this was from one of my Ulta hauls. The last Ulta haul that I that I purchased. And um, I thought it was something, and it was uh, something else. So, my bad. I won't be reaching for this one too much. Maybe I'll wear it with the gloss. I, I should try putting it. Let me try it with the new. Let me try it with this pathetic piece of crap that I was wearing yesterday. It may give me some kind of a shine. Let's see what it looks like. See, there's no kind of look, no kind of color, no kind of nothing. Ooh, this lip gloss. Ooh, this, ooh. Burnt me yesterday. All it is is just giving it some shine. That's it, really. Yeah, well, so, and... No, I may have to toss this little puppy away because this right here, it just gave it a little bit of shine. That's all. Pathetic, people. That is pathetic. That is pathetic. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the amount that they, they, they put in here. Maybe it just didn't. I don't know. They didn't put enough color. I, I can't explain it for yesterday. I really... That's why I came home. I said, I, there, there's no point. There's just no point. None whatsoever. I was too pissed to make a video anyway. So there you have it. So this is today's 
lips of the day, which I'm still not too happy about. However, the more I'm looking at it, I guess the more the gloss is kind of um, giving it a little bit of life. I guess the Bobby Brown just saved itself. Because you know that was La Garbaggio. Y'all know. It was. It would have been La Garbaggio. Now I'm looking at it now, though. I don't know if you can hear that. That is some serious thunder and lightning going on. I woke up, had to drive in torrential rain. Lightning, thunder. I freak out at lightning and thunder when I'm driving in it. If I'm home, I can cozy up. Watch some TV. It can, it can, it could be torrential outside. Just as long as I don't have to go anywhere. But once I have to drive in it, people, I was white knuckling it all the way to work today. And of course, just when I'm going home, it starts to rain again. It dried out during lunchtime. Speaking of lunchtime, let me talk to you about this horrendous lunch that I had today. You know what? I don't think I can go to this diner anymore. The convenience of it is great, literally just across. But first of all, first of all, why am I paying $15 for a tasteless, seasonless, Chicken salad sandwich on toasted white. Toasted white bread. $13 with a side of fries. That should not have been no more than $12 tops. Not even. 11 maybe. But this diner is overpriced. And this was the first disappointing dish. I, I was just in the mood for chicken salad sandwich. For chicken salad. Just I needed the chicken salad. The chicken salad, the way they made it was good. But could you put some salt and pepper? Could you add a little taste to it, please? When I tell you I'm eating this thing and I'm seriously waiting to taste something, it was like eating air. All that money for air? I think the only thing I tasted was my Pepsi, Pepsi Cola, my Pepsi soda, whatever. That was it. And the fries. Tomorrow's payday, people. Tomorrow is going to be payday. That's all I have to say. That is all I have to say. Tomorrow is going to be payday. I have to get paid tomorrow. Bills. I don't think I'm going to have any kind of play money, not, not, not nay one penny for me. Not this paycheck. Nope. No can do. Not going to happen this paycheck. It'll have to be the paycheck for my birthday. That's going to be the play paycheck. Just as long as I've got at least, let's see, this paycheck, the next paycheck. I think three paychecks, either two or three paychecks in is my birthday paycheck. But in the meantime, I'm going to pay bills. That's what I'm going to pay. Bills, people, so I can get these people off my back. That's going to be, that's the, that's the one saving grace of this job. The one saving grace of this job. And so there you have it. My father gave me the good news of his uh, Jeep, I think, is, is fixed completely. I think he can pick it up tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. So he'll, he'll be driving his Jeep again, but I know my father, he is going to be so, he's going to be extra careful, which in turn is still not a good thing because if you are overly cautious, you could still cause an accident. Stopping, starting, stopping, starting, because you're just freaking out at every car that comes by you or that's too close to you. You know, he's still traumatized somewhat. So I told him just to relax. I know this because last Saturday for daddy daughter dinner, we went to the diner and he was driving. I, I, I just kept saying, why don't you let me drive? Pop? Why don't you let me drive? And he's like, no, I, I'll drive. I'll drive. And the whole ride, it's 
And I kind of mentioned it to him. I said, you know, you shouldn't be overly cautious. I, I have to be overly cautious because these people are crazy. They're crazy out here. I, I, any car that's too close to me, I know it's going to hit me. So I know he's still traumatized, which is not a good thing. And, you know, now he's older. My father's going to be 87 or 88 this year. Does it look a day over 60? Okay, I'll tell y'all right in a second right now which people often tell him, and that, that's why they often tell me that I don't look my age either, which I guess is a very, very good thing on my behalf. But, um, you know, parents, after a while, if you, if you, their child, is old enough to give them some kind of advice, it's like almost an insult to them. Like, how dare you give me advice? I know what I'm doing. I'm the one that should be giving you advice. You shouldn't be telling me what to do. So as, as much as I want to tiptoe around the issue, there is no getting around it. He is going to drive the way he's going to drive. I just pray that he doesn't get into another accident. That, that his over-cautiousness doesn't cause, you know, somebody behind him to not realize, oh, he's stopping and he's stopping suddenly. And why is he stopping suddenly? Because he he freaks out at every corner, at every cross street. <sighs> He'll be fine. I, I'm praying. I pray every night that, you know, he drives to the far right so he could let the fast goers go on the left side which is a good thing. Pot could be, could, could be at his destinations so much faster if he were not a speed demon, but if he drove a little faster. My father has never been a fast driver, ever. So, you know, now that he's older, you know he's not a fast driver. Now he's overly cautious, which is not a good thing either. But it is what it is. I pray to God that God and his guardian angel keep a lookout over him and that he'll be fine, the Jeep is fine, that he'll he won't have any other accidents ever. This was his first and his last, I hope. And then that's it. And then that's it. So just as long as he gets to his destinations okay and he comes back home okay. That is all I could ask for. Other than that, people, I really don't know what else to say. Um, you notice I haven't really been talking about work. Or oh, they gave me a whole hell of a lot to do today. Like, my supervisor is really like, I think she sees that I can do stuff. So it's like, well, when you're done with that, here's a whole bunch of this that you could do. And I'm like, I know she doesn't expect it to be done at the end of the day. Because these are projects. These aren't like just little things. She gave me a folder, some decrepit looking folder to alphabetize. Whoever sort of alphabetized, I don't know if it was her or somebody who worked with her, who held this file. They didn't know their alphabet at all. They didn't know. So I am just, why is G before D? Why, why is U before Q? I, 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 I don't know. So it's, it's, it's a project. It, it, it is a project that I have to do in between phone calls and people coming at me. It's a J-O-B and tomorrow's payday. That is all I have to see, say to myself. But at the end of one rainbow comes the nightmare of the following week, which is that Monday. But I have to learn to kind of enjoy my weekend. Just enjoy your weekend, Nancy. Monday will be here before you know it. Don't rush it. Okay. Okay. 
so that's that with that upon that people i um i just need to just i, I just need to just keep i have to just keep pushing on is basically it i just have to keep pushing on that's really it in a nutshell so i have nothing else to talk to you about what, what did i watch last night oh last night was um real housewives of new york sit down let's talk let's discuss uh ramona is a bitch that's that's just that's let me just put that out there ramona is a bitch because she's going to try to pretend that she doesn't realize that she is hurting luann who just recently came out of jail okay the courts told Luann to keep a low profile. Don't text, don't tweet, don't, you know, Instagram, don't do any, just lay low and you will come across, come over on the other side smelling like a rose if you just, just lay low. So the girls, after Luann came out of jail, they treated her to a retreat I don't know where this retreat was, but it's a beautiful, gorgeous place. Some hoity-toity retreat, which looks like a whole hell of a lot of fun. The first night, dinner. Girls are popping off this, this. You know, just little skirmishes, just little things. And then Ramona decides to take a picture of the group. And what is on the table you're in this picture. Bottles, I think glasses of wine. But, well, wine glasses. Apparently there was no wine in the glasses, which I think really helped Luann out. She doesn't call herself an alcoholic, but she wants to just stop drinking. Because when she parties too hard, she drinks. But see, this is through no fault of her own. The reason why she got arrested was because she went... I guess she was traumatized too. She went on a, a semi-vacation to so-called see some friends in Miami. The exact same restaurant that she went to, the exact same boat or whatever that she was on, were the exact same restaurant and boat and wherever that she got married in. Now, that marriage didn't even last a year, I don't think. Now she's divorced. While she's doing all of this, she is drinking up a storm and she caused a ruckus, which in turn got her ass arrested. She finally realized, it's come to, she come to the conclusion that she's drinking too much. She wants to stop. Okay, but she doesn't call herself an alcoholic, which I guess in a way she, she knows she's drinking too much, but it's not like she has the urge to drink, like she has to have a drink. That's an alcoholic. She doesn't have to have a drink. She just chooses to not drink anymore. Because, you know, when you're with your girls and one drink becomes three and three becomes five, five becomes seven, and you know, before you know it, you're tripping over your feet. These girls, these ladies, supposed to be ladies anyway, tend to do that. They cannot have a good time without some alcohol being passed around, which I never really understood. Maybe that's why I don't drink. I, 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 I don't really like the taste of wine, and I am not into champagne. Call me a square. I'll drink it for a celebration. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll nurse that thing to, until the end of the evening. But I'm not downing on one after the other. I will hold the same glass of wine or champagne for hours before I discreetly put it down and walk away. I never was a drinker. I don't drink beer. I don't drink, you know... I, the only drink that I like, that I actually could find myself drink, making a habit of, are mimosas. Damn, those things are good. I had a couple of those, but I don't make, you know, it's not like I'm taking home champagne and orange juice and just downing myself with some mimosas. If, if the mimosa is being served at a social event, like a wedding or whatever, I'll drink. But I, and, I, and I'll still only wind up having one. I won't even drink like two or three. So that's it. But I do like a good mimosa. In any event, so Luann some to the conclusion, excuse me, I'm a little gassy. I don't know why I keep getting gassy every time I'm talking to you, my YouTube family. 
So she realized, okay, you know, I've got to stop this. Now here comes Ramona taking an Instagram photo and she posts it for the world to see. And the, the, the title of the picture is the girls are back in town or something like that. The gang is back together. That's, that's what it is. So Luann's publicist is telling Luann while she's at this retreat with the rest of the girls that she is get she, the publicist is getting a lot, lot of calls Stating that, oh, she, Luann's back on drinking again and she's out and partying again and having a good time when she's supposed to be laying low. So she's trying to explain this to Ramona, who decides to also tell Luann, oh, by the way, you know, your ex and I have been hanging out and they, there was a party that I wanted to go to that he was throwing. And but um, due to the fact that he had a certain amount of people I could he couldn't squeeze me in or whatever and I guess uh, Ramona didn't realize that this was gonna get back to Luann so she just decided to blurt it out and when Luann states that you know you are you why are you doing this why are you purposely hurting me Ramona's playing dumb I don't know what you're talking about but then when she felt cornered she jumps on Luann well, it's not, it's not like you invited me to your wedding anyway, so there. So, bitch, you are doing this out of revenge, out of spite? Is that what you're doing? <sighs> Ramona is a piece of work. Now, I don't know what dynamic is happening between Bethany and Carol. They, you, they were thick as thieves last season and the season before. Now, any time they talk to each other... It's an argument. They're bickering. It's bickering. It's just nonstop bickering. And I tend to blame Bethany. There is something going on with her, which, in fact, she actually admitted to Luann when they, the two of them were, were just, it's just the two of them talking. And Luann was explaining to Bethany, what the hell is Ramona's problem? And, you know, they were going back and forth about that. Um... No, she, Bethany had a discussion with Dorinda and Dorinda kept asking her, what, you know, I'm feeling some kind of way, some kind of vibe is coming off of you. Uh, are you still mad at me for, you know, whatever? Bethany admits to Dorinda that she doesn't feel comfortable with her. And Dorinda's like, I thought we were all over all of this nonsense. And Bethany admitted that there is something definitely going on with me. It's, it's a me thing. I have to work it out myself. She didn't go into details. She doesn't want to talk about her and Carol's relationship. So I don't know what the hell is going on with these two. Dorinda has a spiteful edge about her when it comes to um, Sonia. Sonia was wearing these shoes. They were cute. She has a shoe line now. She's actually got a clothing line and a shoe line. She finally put something out there. So on the shoe is a crest. And she stated, you know, everybody was complimenting her on her shoes. And she's like, yeah, these are, these are shoes from my shoe line. Um, it's the, I've got the family crest on them. Here comes Dorinda. You got a family crest? She said, yeah, the Morgan family crest. Dorinda comes out with, you couldn't pay me to have a family, to, to have me wear my family tartan, much less a crest or whatever. So Sonia was like, okay, whatever. Then Dorinda doesn't let it drop. It's not your family crest. It's your husband's family crest. Dorinda said, it, it's your ex-husband's family crest. And Sonia was saying, I'm still part of the family. I mean, through my daughter and everything. So then Dorinda comes out with, well, then it's your daughter's crest. It's not even yours. You have nothing to do with this. I don't know what the crest had to do with Dorinda. She wouldn't let it go. So they start screaming at each other. And when Dorinda gets a couple in her, there is no stopping her. She gets drunk real fast. Like... Two to three drinks in, she's slurring her words. She's talking loud. She's doing all kinds of madness. So 
Sonia was like, what? what is your problem with my family? What is the big deal? I mean, yesterday's episode had a lot, a lot going for it. Uh, th th there's going to be some surprises coming up. That's all I have to say. Some surprises are coming around. So I can't wait until further episodes to see what the hell is going on. I, you know, these women between the basketball wise ladies, New York ladies coming up next month in July, uh, Real Housewives of the OC, the original that started the whole madness. I'm going to be uh, all Real Housewives up very, very soon, which I love. It's my, it, they're my, they're, they're my guilty pleasure. All the Real Housewives and Basketball Wives, not all the Basketball Wives, well, there's only one or two. Basketball Wives of Miami, I think this is this one, whatever, Basketball Wives. I love, I love these shows. I can't help it. Guilty pleasures. So yeah, that that's the that was the lowdown. The 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Damn. The the shortcut, I guess. I, it's basically what I'm trying to say. The shortcut version of um, Real Housewives of New York. So that is it, really. That is all I have kept you long enough. There really is nothing to discuss here. There really. It really is nothing to discuss. My hair is up because the humidity is a thousand percent and it's raining and thunder and lightning and everything else. So I'm going to change into my comfy cozies. Y'all can't tell me nothing. I've got episode after episode after episode DVR'd of Chicago PD because of the whole marathon. You know, when I wasn't working, I would watch the marathon and then I would stay up really late two or three o'clock in the morning until I couldn't keep my eyes open anymore. And then I DVR whatever episodes I slept on and only to wake up the next morning and continue to watch the marathon. Can't do that anymore. But tomorrow's payday, people. That's what's getting me through. Tomorrow is payday. Okay, so that is it. That is all. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up and let me know what you think about this. You know, I... I mm. It is what it is, people. Maybe it's just because it's a, I'm wearing a bright orange and it's it's drowning out the color. Maybe if I wore a black or I wore a white, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna toss it in the back, but I'm not gonna give up on it. It's not like Rabagio. What is well? Now this goes well with that. So I was gonna toss this away. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. It could be a topper for you know nude lipsticks because it's a nude in itself. But when I tell you. At least nudes have a little bit of a creamy look to them. This has nothing. This has nothing. Don't let me get pissed off again. Okay, so that is it. That is all, people. Tomorrow, I hope to be coming home with a grin on my face. Hey, day, people. Okay, so let's just be happy for me on that. My very first a day. I don't think it'll be in my direct deposit just yet. I think I'm actually going to get a check. But I think that the maybe next week's paycheck uh, will be a direct deposit in my in my direct deposit. We shall see. Okay, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think of everything. If you watch Real Housewives of uh, New York, let me know. And uh, that is it. That is all. I love you. I will talk to you tomorrow. Mwah. Bye now.